All right, well, hello everyone. Um, welcome to our Q&A live stream. We're gonna be answering some of your questions about the Deutsch Duke Conservation Scholars Program and our internship here at Point Blue and a little bit about getting started in the conservation field as an undergrad. But um, before we get started, we're gonna introduce ourselves and explain what the Doris Duke program is. So I can go ahead and introduce myself first. My name is Nina Esquerdo and I'm currently a undergrad attending North Carolina State University and majoring in fisheries, wildlife, and conservation biology. As of now, I'm interested in going into graduate school once I get my bachelor's and after that, I'm interested in getting a career as a wildlife biologist and possibly working with the National Park Service. Hello everyone, my name is Julie Marr. I'm a third year undergraduate student at the University of Florida and I'm majoring in biology with a natural science emphasis and double minoring in environmental science and wildlife ecology and conservation. And I'm also interested in wildlife biology and I plan on finding a job in the field after graduating and uh, waiting a little bit until applying for graduate school. So now that we've kind of explained a little bit about us, we're going to talk about what the Dorsch Duke program is. So the Dorsch Duke Conservation Scholars Program is a two-year program for minority college students who are interested in conservation. So during the first year of the program, each student works with a grad student and works on a research project and we present that project at ESA, also known as the Ecological Society of America. Yeah, and so during our second year, or during the second year, students choose an internship based on their career interest. And currently we're both in the second year of the Doris Duke program. And as you can see, we've chosen Point Blue to do our internship for the summer. So our time at Point Blue is divided evenly between working in the marine lab, working with the STRAW program, and attending meetings for the Community College Conservation Internship, which is also known as CCCI. So on Mondays, we work all day in the lab. Tuesdays, we split our day up between CCCI and the lab. Wednesdays, we go out into the field with straw. Thursdays, we split up our days again between the lab and CCCI. And Fridays, we work in the native plant nursery located in Petaluma. Yeah, so one of the portions of the internship, like Nina mentioned, is the Point Blue Marine Lab. And in the lab, we work alongside uh, two lab research assistants, Diana and Joycelyn, and with senior scientist Meredith. And we visit the lab three days out of the week and work on different tasks, such as identifying and weighing krill. And I'll actually show some photos right now of what we do in the marine lab. So um, here we're identifying Wayne Crow. We also identify drop fish species from least term colonies. And we look through Brant Cormorant regurgitated pellets from fish otoliths. And um, I'll just pop up another photo of us in the lab. That's Nina and I. And so all of these tasks are a part of research that Point Blue is conducting, conducting to learn more about uh, California, the California marine ecosystems and how climate is impacting important factors like reproduction and food availability. So another portion of our internship is working with students and teachers restoring a watershed, which is also known as STRAW. The STRAW is a program at Point Blue that focuses on educating and giving hands-on experience for elementary, middle school, and high school age students on wetland restoration. So our role in STRAW is just to work on maintenance at the different field sites. So each Wednesday we go to a different field site with the project manager and we help weed, water, and basically maintain the site. So another part of working in the STRAW program is working in the native plant nursery. And there we help collect seeds, collect cuttings, propagate cuttings, and pop plants. Yeah, and the image you're seeing right now is from the native plant nursery that Nina mentioned that we work in. Okay, let me stop sharing. And so the Community College Conservation Internship, which is CCCI, is also a portion of our internship, and we participate in it uh, twice a week on Zoom. And this online program focuses on important discussions on conservation, diversity, equity, and inclusion in the field. 
and meetings cons consist of professionals in the field um, being invited speakers and are oftentimes point blue scientists. And also readings and videos are provided for us to discuss, discuss together as a group during our meetings. And so this portion of the internship really focuses on the DEI aspect of our program and allows us to also connect with California minority students who are interested in being a part of the conservation field. So now that we've given a little background on ourselves, the Doris Duke program and our internship here at Point Blue, um, we'll start answering some of your questions that we received on our Instagram story. And while we're going through those questions, feel free to leave more questions in the comments and we'll try our best to answer. Yeah. So our first question reads, how do you approach getting a bird surveying job? And uh, before I answer this, I just want to reiterate that um, we're undergraduate students and we're giving our advice based on what we've learned so far through our experiences. So for this question, I, a good resource that you could use is the Texas a and Job Board. And this is a website that offers many job listings in conservation. And you can even enter keywords in the search bar and see what positions are posted that are related to that. And as we were preparing for this live, we searched up bird survey on the uh, Texas A&M job board and a couple of technician positions showed, showed up. So definitely use that resource to your advantage. Um, also Point Blue offers a, an internship at the Palomarin uh, Field Station in Bolinas, California. And there you learn how to band and handle birds. And if you visit the Point Blue website and click on careers, you can find out more information about the internship. So another question that we received reads, what type of general experience is most valued by employers? So it kind of depends on what job you're looking for, but I know generally employers look for hands-on experience in the field that you're looking into going into. Another good thing is to have some experience with some programs and some common words, some common ones that I've heard of is ArcGIS and R. Another question we received through our Instagram stories was, when you were in college, what resources did you use to find out about conservation careers? So again, I would highly recommend the Texas a and Job Board, and also uh, another job board is the conservationjobboard.com. And these are both very popular job boards where different listings from internships, full-time positions, and volunteering are constantly being posted and updated. And Something else we would recommend is contacting your college's department advisor and finding out what resources they might have for you. Um, I know email lists are very common for my advisors and personally I found a lot of my opportunities um, through that resource, through email lists. And if you're still not sure what exact job you're looking for, I would still recommend looking at job boards and seeing what type of positions are available and what skills and experiences are being asked for, and that can help um, guide you. Um, another email list that's really uh, useful is the ecolog-l through the Ecological Society of America, which also emails you different positions. And if you're more interested in marine mammals, there's a good email list called MARMAM. And um, if you're interested in the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, the Cal Careers website is a good resource. And lastly, I would talk to professors in the field, uh, graduate students or mentors that you may have that and ask them about their own path because the more experiences you listen to, the more you will realize that everyone's story is very different and um, that can help guide you through your career path. So another question that we have is, is graduate school worthwhile for conservation careers and do you have any suggestions for a recent bachelor's? Well, I still don't have my bachelor's yet. I know the conservation field can be pretty competitive, so going into graduate school and receiving at least a master's will give you an advantage from looking for good paying and stable jobs. Um, we recent, recently went to a CCCI presentation and it was with someone who worked at Point Blue and he just has his bachelor's, so it is possible to get a job with just a bachelor's and not go to graduate school. But he did mention that the field is becoming more competitive. So personally, I suggest getting going to graduate school, but it's up to you. So. Yeah, I, I agree with that. <laughs> 
So another question is, what is the biggest thing you have gotten out of your ex internship experience at Point Blue? Uh, personally, this summer has been um, a great time and I've definitely learned many different things about the field and also the projects we've been working on. But if I had to choose one, I would say that the biggest thing I've gained from this experience is understanding more about what careers and positions are available after I graduate. Um, conservation can be a pretty broad field and it can feel overwhelming as a student trying to navigate potential careers in the future. Uh, so working alongside Point Blue staff has given me more insight on what options there are and how I could get there um, once I graduate. So I really enjoyed my internship here at Point Blue and similarly, I really like seeing the different career paths within the conservation field. For me, I'd have to say that the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this experience is being able to try out some of these different career paths. Um, for a couple of years, I've been really focused on just wildlife biology, and I'm still interested in that, but now I feel like I'm more open to other career paths and definitely more appreciative of those different jobs within the conservation field. Yep. So those are the questions we received through the Instagram Live. And we have a question in the chat that we can answer before we head out. So it says, hi, from the Furlongs. Uh, what's your favorite project in the Marine Lab? Um, for me, I would say it was working with the least term dropfish because um, before being a part of this internship, I guess I've never had experience identifying different fish and just learning about their diet has been really interesting and um, I've enjoyed it. Um, do you want <laughs> Well, my answer is pretty much the same. I really like looking at the dropped fish and being able to identify them. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and someone said crispy fish, which is definitely true. Um, okay, so uh, those are all the questions we were able to get to today and the ones we received through the Instagram story. Thank you guys for submitting them. Um, we all hope that you learned something from today's Q&A session. And it was really great reading your questions and we wish you all the best in your career paths. So yeah, thank you for everyone who joined and good luck on your career paths. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>